सो हे गाइस एंड वेलकम टू द स्पॉटलाइट आई अपलोड इंटरेस्टिंग वीडियोस अबाउट साइंस एंड इफ यू इंटू दैट थिंग consider doing the right thing and subscribe so you know with all the crap going around i thought let's make it an opportunity and make some of the videos about interesting concepts which are included in our syllabus in you know in high school physics but are kind of overlooked and made boring you know similar to what mark rober is doing so today's video is about pseudo force now it is a very simple yet very interesting concept originating from frames of reference which itself is so simple yet so profound that we derive special relativity from it okay so i want to start with the very common flat earth argument I think you are in a globe spinning at 1000 miles an hour so on at 60000 plus miles an hour flying sideways through the galaxy at half a million miles an hour going through the rest of the universe at millions of miles an hour and you feel nothing that why are we not able to feel the motion of earth you know rotation around its axis revolution around the sun now if you think about it you can feel the motion of your car right and the car is only going like what 50 60 kilometers an hour remember what speeding changes where as the earth is moving at a rate of kilometers per second here's the thing you feel the motion of the car because you feel a force on yourself backwards when it accelerates and forwards when it deaccelerates here's the clue it accelerates the force you feel is called pseudo force and it's because of your tendency of maintaining the state of rest or motion inertia so here this if you keep driving in a constant speed in a constant direction and the road is kind of smooth you know because you know bumps you wouldn't feel the motion of your car like do you feel it on a highway so on guys we see this in our lives every day it's just that we need to study it and observe it to quantify it as science so take this example you observe an elevator moving upwards there is a box inside the elevator suspended by a string now if i ask you what is the tension in a string again tension is just the amount of force which the string applies against the weight of the box and any other forces in that direction which pull the box in the opposite direction of the string so coming back to our example the elevator is moving upwards with an acceleration of let's say 5 meters per second square now what will be the tension in the string well so since you are standing outside the elevator for you apparently the box is moving upwards and the only thing pulling it upwards is the string so the tension must be the force pulling it right so tension minus the weight of the box should be the net force pulling it upwards now since force is equal to mass times acceleration the net force on the box must be equal to the mass of the box times the acceleration which is 5 meters per second square since the acceleration on it is upwards so by simple algebra tension in the string must be equal to the weight of the box plus this force which means mass times gravity plus mass times this acceleration now let's assume that the box has a mass of about 10 kg the weight must be 10 times 9.8 or take it as 10 for this example so it is 10 times 10 plus 10 times 5 which means 100 plus 50 which is 150 newtons now what will happen if i ask the same question to a person standing in an elevator now for him the box is stationary so according to him the weight of the box is equal to the tension but like in the other car example he is able to feel that acceleration on him upwards and the force which is pushing him downwards and this force is called pseudo force and the pseudo force is always equal to the mass of the body on which it is acting times the acceleration by which the whole system is accelerated and it always acts in the opposite direction of the acceleration now you don't need to remember the stuff just remember when a car accelerates you are pushed backwards and this is because of the pseudo force now you can you know just link it and then you'll get the idea that pseudo force acts in the opposite direction and it depends upon our mass and the acceleration so in the above example where the observer is in the lift we just add the pseudo force to the weight of the box since this force is also pulling it downwards and voila we have the exact same result as the above since you know the tension is the same actually it's just uh, different observers going about different ways to calculate it okay now just as a brain teaser imagine this scenario the same box is kept on a scale inside an elevator now the elevator is moving up with a velocity of let's say 10 meters per second so what weight does this scale show 
in newtons. And remember, it's the same box and we can take g as 10 meter per second square. Pause the video and think, and then play the video. Well, it would show 100 newtons itself. Since remember, it's not accelerating. So a pseudo force is not acting on it, which would increase its weight. It's a scenario similar to the motion of the earth. It's not accelerating, so you don't feel the motion. Another very interesting application of pseudo force is, well, weightlessness. This is because when a body is in free fall, the acceleration downwards is well g. And uh, the pseudo force in the opposite direction is the mass of the body times g which is equal to its weight. So you have two opposite to equal forces and the pseudo force here balances the weight and therefore you have virtually weightlessness. Therefore the ISS which is in constant free fall around the earth, well you know that's that's orbital mechanics, uh, I can make a video if you, if you guys want. ISS is in constant free fall towards the earth and that is why you have weightlessness. Now you know you can sound intelligent when someone says hey the ISS is so far up in the atmosphere the earth's gravity doesn't work then that is why uh, you have uh, weightlessness what nobody says that okay yeah you know gravity is the one keeping it in orbit so thank you guys for watching and do the right thing keep watching my videos stay home